Hello everyone, my name is Faberia Pendragon, we are the Whispers, and this is how to play Madeline, <clears throat> I mean Drifter, in Risk of Rain Returns. I suppose climbing Mount Celeste wasn't enough of a challenge, and so Drifter has made their way here to Petrichor 5, and probably bulked up on anabolic steroids on the way, cause holy shit does she pack a punch. No more dying because you wall bounced into some spikes here. Drifter is a heavy brawler, much like Handy, with a close range kit, a bulkier health bar, and a real punch to every swing. But she also falls into a sort of hybrid support role, which can be especially fun in multiplayer, or let you get up to some real fun shenanigans solo. To get Drifter, you'll need to recycle 6 drones in one run, and you do that at these machines here. And you can loop as many times as you need, though you also may not need to loop at all. Additionally, while they won't grant items, you can recycle the drone that spawns with the drone repair kit equipment item, and it will count towards your 6, so if you get the equipment item you can just hang out by a recycler for a while. Before we get into abilities, Drifter has a passive in the form of her unique resource, Scrap. In short, some abilities generate scrap, while other abilities use it as a casting cost. She can hold up to 12 scrap to be used at any given time. Now then, her primary is Blunt Force, a 3 hit combo with a large range, heavy stagger, and a chance to generate scrap on every hit. It also moves you a good bit forward, and like Miner and Mercenary you can jump around a bunch while swinging to gain some really good mobility while you attack. Next up, you can use some of that scrap with Cleanup. You throw out a handful of scrap projectiles in what can only be described as a metal pocket sand maneuver. These projectiles pierce and bounce about, and there's a chance to spawn a special projectile that can either bleed or slow. This costs just 2 scrap per cast and only has a 1 second cooldown, meaning if you've got a pack full of berries you can throw a bunch of these into a crowd for a shockingly high effect. Come to think, is there a mod that makes the scrap pieces look like Celeste berries? That'd be awesome. They can also proc on all enemies they hit, so again, you can absolutely shred crowds with this. Third, her utility is Suffocate. You deal a heavy slam to all enemies in front of you, stunning them in the process. If they're killed by the attack, you're granted 4 scrap. Additionally, if the enemy in question is below 20% health, they're killed instantly. This execute effect works on every enemy in the game, including the final boss and will grant the 4 scrap for every single enemy consumed, meaning if you soften up a whole crowd you can very easily pac-man them all to death with one swing and go straight back to full scrap. Last but certainly not least, Drifter's special is Salvage. You spend 8 scrap to spawn 4 random temporary items. These items can be anything, including legendary items, so I hope you like gambling. The item timer only starts when you pick them up, so you can always make a huge stockpile of items right near the teleporter for when you start the event, or just use it whenever it's off cooldown to try and keep a steady stream of temporary boosts. With an Ancient Scepter, this ability spawns 6 items instead of 4. I've always found Drifter's kit to be incredibly amusing. I mean, imagine you're a Lemurian on Petrichor 5, right? You and your buddies run up to gank this person that crash landed on your planet, cause like, God told you to or something, and suddenly, she grabs your brother, shoves him in a sack with a sickening snap and crunch, and then from seemingly fucking nowhere, pulls back out a Glock and shoots your cousin in the head with it. I just, just I, I can't, I can't. It's too good. <laughs> Jokes aside, she does a fantastic job of using blunt force and suffocate to generate scrap, then using that scrap to shred whores with cleanup and every 30 seconds or so, pull some more high explosive rabbits out of her hat with salvage. It's a very fun gameplay loop and a very strong kit. And her kit only gets better with the alts, of which she has one for the secondary, utility, and special abilities. For her secondary, cleanup is replaced by Scrap Cube. You acquire this by completing the Providence Trial, Perilous Descent, where you use the ability to make your way down through the map. Instead of throwing out a bunch of scrap, with brute strength alone Drifter crushes the same 2 scrap cost into a large cube, giving further credence to my silly little theory that under that coat she is absolutely fucking ripped, the watermelons didn't stand a chance. When the cube is tossed out, it does decent damage, but it can be knocked around, dealing even more if it crashes into an enemy. The cube behaves similar to Artificer's Frost Barrier in that enemies will prioritize attacking it, but you can also ride atop it, sending it forward with your swings as you surf through enemies. You also gain one scrap back if you use Suffocate on it before it breaks. Speaking of Suffocate, her ult utility replaces it with Tornado Slam. You get it by gaining 20 temporary items at once, so like I said before, just make a huge pile of them and grab them in one go. Instead of an execute that gives scrap on success, you spin around with a speed boost and reduce gravity, hitting enemies repeatedly as you go, and having a chance to produce scrap on hit, just like with Blunt Force. This is a pretty significant mobility boost and can let you get across gaps that you couldn't otherwise, as well as just hitting really hard and letting you move into and through crowds. 
And finally, Alt 4 replaces Salvage with Recycle. You get it from the Trial Equivalent Exchange, where you have to recycle the monster teeth dropped into rusty knives and survive the teleporter event to leave. My biggest tip here is to keep a few monster teeth. You're gonna need the healing as things get crazy. You can also start the event early, you just need the knives in order to leave. So you can start it with only a few knives and teeth and then get the rest during the event. Also, make sure you grab the extra ability stocks to use your special faster. That'll help you keep up with the rapidly ramping difficulty. You use the same 8 scrap with the same 30 second cooldown, but now instead of spawning temporary items, you get to re-roll an existing one. Risk of Rain 2 already proved how powerful item recycling is, so there's little here I can say that isn't just the obvious benefits. Got an item you don't like? No you don't! Reroll that shit. Boom. New item. You don't get the huge spikes in power you randomly get from pulling two legendaries out of your ass, but it's far more consistent power increase that helps you negate bad RNG, so you're still pretty likely to be notably stronger than a normal run through the power of gambling. Additionally, with an Ancient Scepter, Recycle gives an additional temporary copy of the new item as well. The ult set changes how you generate scrap and its functionality, providing a very interesting side grade that still feels like it stays true to Drifter's character identity, so to speak. As you can probably tell, I love cleanup too much to give it up for Scrap Cube, but plenty of people swear by Scrap Cube, and it is strong. Tornado Slam can be very fun, especially if you prefer mobility over the ability to execute enemies, and while I find the gambling very very funny, Recycle is just good. Pretty much any combination is gonna work great, so Drift Remains, toss your preferred loadouts below and why you'll love them. Before we move on, as you can see, I kinda changed up how I did the ult ability section. Let me know what you think. Also, subscribe for more, comment, all that good stuff. Now then, item wishlist time. In the white category, crowbar can be great when you're running suffocate, either killing light enemies with one shot or weakening heavy ones in one hit putting them into the execute range. Taser, sticky bomb, and gasoline make for really good crowd control combined with cleanup. And higher attack speed makes bouncing around with your melee even faster, so mocha and syringe are great to see. For greens, concussion grenades, boxing glove, and shackles are all great for crowd control, as is ukulele or insecticide with how easily cleanup can distribute procs through a group. Of course, any items like charge field and toxic centipede will also go great with drifter given she's usually up close to the enemies. For reds, I gotta give it to hardlight afterburner, brilliant behemoth, or wicked ring. More executes on demand or the insane increase to mobility that you get with hard light, as well as just incredible scrap generation from both becoming so spammable, or the chain explosions from every hit of cleanup as it passes through enemies, both would absolutely annihilate crowds of enemies. And Wicked Ring means you can spam the hell out of temporary item spawns or recycle even faster, assuming that you have the scrap income to do it, or spam your utility as if you had hard light to begin with. Hyper Threader also goes surprisingly well given how many hits you get with cleanup, and Thallium is great for its extra damage over time and crowd control that it gives simultaneously. For equipment items, I think Explorer's Key works best for Drifter, letting you ignore the gold cost for chests combined with spawning your own items or getting some control over the RNG. It means you can seriously speed up your power scaling much faster than other survivors. Gigantic Amethyst can also be great for the same reasons Wicked Ring would be, or Captain's Brooch which is good for similar reasons to Key but would probably pair better with Recycle than Salvage. In gold, I think the above mentioned equipment is good enough to choose over Nozzle, so it won't be getting a place here. Scorching Shell Piece is great for anyone melee, and the extra mobility and CC of Burning Witness is great for Drifter for all the same reasons Gasoline and Goat Hoof is for pretty much anyone. However, with how frequently cleanup can proc, Ifrit's Horn and Legendary Spark are going to go off a ton, so those two are probably your best grabs. And that's all. Again, let me know if you like the improvements to the alt section. I thought covering how to get each alt, then use it all in one go worked better than covering how to get them all, then going back over them all just for usage. Just works more efficiently for me to make, and I imagine more efficiently for you to get the info you came for. Again, please hit the buttons that make the silly little numbers go up, because it makes my brain release the funny little happy chemicals. I'm gonna go take a bit of a rest now, because two videos in one day was harder than I thought it would be. <laughs> See you soon, friends.